and we are recording. All right. So 1.5 number 39. Um, it says e to the x plus e to the negative x equals 3. Solve this equation algebraically. Support your answer graphically. All right. So anytime I have a, a negative exponent, I like to make them positive. It makes more sense to me. So it's, oops, that's a plus. e to the x plus 1 over e equals 3. Okay, so now it's a positive exponent. I can kind of see what I have. Um, and then I like to eliminate fractions. I get rid of negatives and I get rid of fractions. So I have a, an E in the bottom. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by E because that will undo the E on the bottom. So, oh, it is E to the X. So thanks, E to the X. So multiply everything by e to the x. So I have e to the x times e to the x. I'll leave it as e to the x squared plus 1 equals 3e e to the x. Okay, now I'm going to move everything to one side. So I have 0 on one side. And now what? Well, this is an example of a quadratic type equation. So we've had a bunch of quadratic types. If you had like um, x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 15 equals 0. So that's a quadratic type where you'd say, well, whatever that is, that's what we're going to call A. So a is equal to x squared. And if a is x squared, then this is a times a. Because that's x squared squared. So you could rewrite that equation as a squared plus 2a minus 15 equals 0. This is a quadratic type. Like it's close to a quadratic. Normal quadratics have just x there, but if I have an x squared there, it's a quadratic type. So well, now I can factor it. and solve so negative 5 and 3 those are my two va values for a we're not trying to solve for a we're trying to solve for x so we have to back substitute what we got for a right there so a is negative 5 and a is 3 so negative 5 equals x squared and 3 equals x squared Square root each side, and that would be no solution. Can't square something and get a negative. Square root each side, so x would be plus or minus the square root of 3. Those are your two answers. That's an example of the quadratic type. This is a quadratic type where, again, this is your a. So it would be a squared minus 3a plus 1 equals 0. The good news is it's now in a quadratic form. The bad news is it's not factorable. Do we have quadratic formula on your calculators? No. I don't. Okay. So I can't link it to you. <laughs> um... In person, I can link it to you, and you'll just have it on your calculator. So my program, I can just hit program, quadratic, and it'll do it for me. Okay. Here's what the program looks like. Program, edit, quadratic. So you have to prompt A, prompt B, prompt C. So the input the user has to tell you what three numbers to use for A, B, and C. Then you can display one answer and then display the other answer. One is plus and one is minus. And I just wrote a message at the end. So you could take a picture of that. You could type that into your calculator and you'd have the quadratic formula.
Okay, so to find prompt, you're going to want to go to program, edit. I'll just do a new one. Um, so to find prompt, you're going to hit program again. And there's a whole bunch of programming language you can use. So program edit and then program again and then input output is where you find prompt. Prompt alpha A and program prompt alpha B program prompt alpha C and then you're going to dis display and then you type it all in. But the program button again is where you get all of your stuff um, for programming. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the program test. I don't want that in there. And I don't know what QUQ is either. So I'm going to go to memory down here. And I'm going to manage programs. Sorry. And there's my four programs and I don't want that one and I don't want that one. Okay. So anyways, I'll link you three if you need it, but I'm going to just finish the problem here. Quadratic formula. A is 1, B is negative 3, and C is 1 for this problem. Those are your coefficients. And we get our two answers for A. A is 2.62, and A is 0.38. Okay, that's what A is. We want X. So we have to find out what we define A to be. A is E to the X. So then we'd say e to the x equals 2.62 and e to the x equals 0.38. Then you can do a natural log of each side. So x equals approximately natural log of 2.62. Natural log of 2.62, I get 0.96. Natural log, natural log. Natural log of 0.38 is negative 0.97. Those are two answers. Okay, good question.